Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that is Deb Chanel's Four Days World and I am Deb Chanel. Welcome, 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 welcome to It's a Family Affair. It's a Family Affair. Yes, it's a family affair over here where we drop down, we take the time out to see how each other's day has been going, how it's been reflecting, what we're going through, what we're not going through, what we see we want to be going through, um, talking about what's trending out there in social media. Anytime we can interact and communicate with one another, that's a good thing. So we try to have this type of interaction every day, okay? I might not be talking to you every day. You might be watching pre-recorded videos, but at least... I'm giving you something to talk with me about every day okay and if you want to put down in them comments anything extra about your day we can discuss that too hopefully I'm just going to give you straight up with no chaser the real tea or how I viewpoint or what I feel you're going through and getting my opinions because they're strictly my opinions you can take it for what it's worth or you can keep it moving all right it just is what it is but let us get into another story that I have been backlogged in, but I'm trying to wipe them out this weekend. Maybe it'll be next weekend where I can completely wipe things out and start fresh with new stuff that's trending during the week that we're reviewing it. Okay, but we're going to go with media takeout news. You know, like I said, they've given me news I can use and they haven't let me down thus far. Okay, I'm not saying everything they put out is true. It's the gospel. It's just entertainment news, and we're just talking about it over here. Some people call it gossiping. I call it interacting. I call it communicating. I call it let's just see what we can talk about today, okay? Not that we're placing blame on anybody any other way and putting it as a gospel, the staple truth. We're just giving our opinions, our viewpoints on how we feel about what we saw out there in social media to some of the people we may follow as a viewer, some fans, some fanatics. It just is what it is. I'm a ride of the okay? But we go into a title that London A put out on Media Takeout News. I, he may be an independent correspondent person over there writing articles for them, or he may just be a staff employee writing articles. Either way, I'm sure he's getting paid, all right? But he titled his article, or she titled her, I think it's a he, he titled his article, Married to Medicine Star Dr. Jack Waters, Dr. Simone is the Worst at Breaking Girl Code. Now, you know, on their little show, they always say what we're going to discuss, what we're not going to discuss, what we're not going to bring to the forefront, and things that we're just going to totally stay away from, meaning husband and kids. Okay, you probably have to put the mother and the daddy down there too, depending on how you really getting down, because God of Heaven, she love to say your mama in a minute. <laughs> She could be done met your mama, not met your mama, but it just feels like she's going to hurt you by saying that. She's going to hit at the kneecaps, so she's going to say your mama. Okay, she don't call you every other garden tool that's out there or itch that she can think about calling you, okay? But in the article, he goes on to say... The lovely ladies who of Merit to Medicine sat on with Bravo where they revealed which, which of the ladies is the worst uh, when it uh, comes to breaking girl code. And according to Dr. Jackie Waters, it's Dr. Simone. Okay. I think the person who is most guilty of violating the girl code is probably Dr. Simone, she said. She is not loyal to anyone. All right. I'm like, what? that's what she's saying okay for example if you know somebody is lying on your good friend and you add into the lie like okay you've got receipts on my husband and then Simone will say if she says she's got them then she got them when we all know that Mariah is a liar and she's lied on Simone so what kind of friend are you if you can't hold up the truth and see that's just Dr. Uh, Heavenly speaking on Simone and her truth that she feels she has on Dr. <coughs> Excuse me, Simone okay then we go to where it says Mariah didn't hold back when it came to throwing a little shade either she always talks and preaches about girl code but she doesn't hold herself accountable at all Mariah said so for me Jackie is the one that really violates so that's Mariah saying no it ain't Dr. Simone honey it's Dr. Jackie okay and Dr. Jackie did come and show her ass this season when she you know was telling all Bruffy Purcell's 
personal information they had to constantly apologize for it for the rest of the season all right that's my pun intended not in this article okay we're going back to what mariah said that um nobody holds jack accountable for her misdeeds on breaking the girl code then she goes on to say so far i'm uh, so for me, Jack is the one that really violates and people don't really see her. She does things in a very subliminal way. And that's pretty pretty much it about that article. So what do y'all think? Do y'all think of the Married to Medicine reality star cast that, um, like Jackie says, Dr. Simone is the worst violator? Or do you have another person that violates, in your opinion, your mind, that really depicts breaking girl code at its totality? Me, personally, I think it's Dr. Helen all day, every day. Um, but like I said for this article, Jackie was interviewed and she said Dr. Simone was the worst. I think Dr. Simone hold grudges a little longer than anticipated. But I don't think she really breaks girl code, okay? But y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all felt about it. Do you agree with Dr. Jackie saying Dr. Simone is the one who violates the uh, girl code the most? Or do you have another uh person in mind on that particular showcase let me know get down in them comments and speak your mind okay let me know what's on your mind break those feelings down in commentary back to me if you must or just interact with the people in the um chat section okay make friends if you must okay but i'll see y'all next video take care and don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos Bye bye